try to uh, create a very immersive flight simulation environment for pilot training. So, what do you see now? I'm in the cockpit and I have a heads-up display in front of me. And we have access to multiple flight simulators. Right, motion base is on. We can recreate a wide range of flight conditions. In the clouds or at night or where there is no visual reference outside. Now I have no visibility in this cloud. It's very disorienting without the environmental cues. I'm pretty much relying on the instruments as well as the audio and haptic cues. Imagine that the aircraft is rolling to the right and it should not. Then the pilot will feel a haptic sensation on the left shoulder to indicate that they should be rolling back to the left. If the aircraft is uh, banked pretty steeply to the right, then the sensation will be pretty strong. I'm feeling haptic input now on my left shoulder and it's more intense now. It's definitely helpful now that I can't see anything anymore. We use 3D audio cueing to deliver audio cues that also correspond to the same control input that has to be made. Now that I'm in this left bank, I have a really intense right cue on my right ear, so it's a really high frequency. The audio cues match the haptic cues pretty well with respect to intensity and frequency. It was really surprising for us to see that the pilots actually reacted faster using haptics rather than vision only. Whenever they were flying uh, at night or throughout the clouds, they relied on haptic feedback to hold attitude. And hearing from the pilot the fact that they weren't relying on vision anymore to fly was both surprising and particularly pleasing because it meant that these ideas actually turned out to be useful. We got it. We can fly by feel just relying on our haptic feedback. Hopefully one day we'll be able to collaborate with the industry to actually make these ideas into reality and practical applications. It's just incredible. We can do extraordinary things.